Go Battle League Season 9 updates, guys. Okay, it's here. Let, let, let's start like we're excited and let's let's see. It's not gonna be a huge disappointment like last season, okay? So, trainers! Go Battle League Season 9 is set to kick off. Yay! Okay. Your ranking at the end of this season will be more important than it ever has, so make sure to start your climb early. So I have 10 questions about this. First question. Uh, your, uh, your ranking. Ranking means uh, legend, right? Or ace or whatever. Not elo. If it, it would have mean elo, but the second question is it elo? So the sec second question is it elo, but I think if it was an elo, it would have said elo, right? All right. And this is for, and this is for season nine, not for season eight. So in season eight, your elo won't matter where you end, but in season nine, it will matter. Just to clarify. So it doesn't matter how I finish season eight; it matters how I finish season nine. And just it's perfect because I just decided I'm gonna be climbing in season nine, and I will Yay! climb really hard. And hopefully I will match up with Total Tactical, so that good. I'm gonna focus on actual grinding this time. Not like every other seasons when I just casually auto wreck to Legend. Okay, so as the season progresses, we will have more to share on how this season results will impact things going forward, so stay tuned. I am- oh, okay, I see that. I, I am excited about that. I am excited about that. Season 9 start date, rank resets, and end of season rewards. Go Battle League Season 9 will start on Monday, August 30th. Okay, we already know that. 1 p.m. That's good. PDT. The following will occur at the beginning, so 4 p.m. Eastern time. The following occur. End of season rewards will be available on the battle screen. Your Go Battle League rank will be reset. The rank up requirements will remain the same. Okay, that's Season 8. Season 9 schedule. So the begin beginning August 30th to September 13th, we have Great League and Great League Remix. So similar. September 13 to 27, Ultra League, Ultra League Remix, September 27 to October 11, Master League, Master League Classic, and Little Jungle Cup. Um, three times Saras from Win Rewards, this does not include the end of set rewards. Wait, what? Three times Stardust from Win Rewards. This doesn't include the end of set rewards. That's bullshit, Niantic. You just, you tried this to do, you tried to do this like last season as well. Dude, they're giving us the extra starters because they cheated us, and now they try to cheat us again. All right, whatever. Whatever. They try to cut. They try to cut back somewhere, everywhere they can because they cut them cheating this season, right? Season eight. So they're trying to cut it back now. It's kind of funny, you know. It's kind of funny how. Anyways, that's all right. Let's continue. I didn't expect it any less from Niantic. Okay. So October 11 to October 25, Great League and Halloween Cup. That's cool. Begins October 15th. I'm excited for that. October 25 to November 8, Ultra League, yeah, my boy! Ultra Premier Pro Classic and Halloween Cup. There will be Halloween Cup there too, that's awesome, I'm excited for that. November 8 to November 22, Master League, Emma Premier Classic and Special Cup Players Cup. Dude, this league, this will go almost to freaking Christmas, crazy. Uh, three times stars from Vin Rewards, this doesn't include the set rewards, okay, we got it. November 22 to 29, Great League, Ultra and Master, okay. Now let's see what's new. Free PG for season 9, right? I mean, th th I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I sure hope so. What is... What's in new season 9? Go Battle Days. To allow more trainers to participate, Go Battle Nights will become Go Battle Days. From Go Battle League Season 9 onward. Okay. So let's clarify this. So many people were complaining about it. That uh, we... Uh, that it's only at night, so, so the people can't participate because it's at night for them so night will be a whole day did you guys hear this that's a win again so they Yay! listen and they adjusted so it will be a whole day thing not a gold battle night is that cl cl clear for everybody guys do you guys get this so gold battle day all day not just from six to midnight all day congratulations we did it ladies and gentlemen Yay! uh bonuses the maximum number of sets you can play per day is the same it's gonna be 100 okay four times stardust i think that's better right this does not include the end of set rewards and will not stack with a three times service bonus. Okay, we got that. that. That was the same with this season. But so so we're not getting four times Stardust then. We are not getting four times Stardust. Yeah, can somebody clarify this? I'm correct, right? Guys, read this again. It says four times Stardust from win rewards. Win rewards. You guys know what that mean, right? That's the stupid 500 Stardust, now it's gonna be 4 times, so 2,000, right? 
But for the actual end of set rewards, when you claim your rewards where we got most of this dust each season, it's not gonna count. So it's gonna be just regular. Nah, I caught bull on that one. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Niantic. That sucks. So when we claim our rank rewards, we're not getting Stardust for that. Alright, Niantic. Come on, come on. Can we please change that? What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know below. Let me know. I mean, let me know right now in the comments. Let me know. Chat, let me know. Dates and times. Saturday, September 18th will be the first one from 12 a.m. There we go. All day. So go bed all night. It's going to be all day long. The Ultra League and Ultra League Remix will be active. Okay, that's cool. So the first one will be Ultra League. That's awesome. Heavy damage time. And then Monday will be one. All day Saturday, November 20th will be one. So September 18th, November 1st, and November 20th. Ooh, it will be Master League, dude. Master League, that's awesome. Guaranteed rank up. You can encounter the following Pokemon. That's the same as before. Standard encounters. Okay, minor changes. Avatar items. This is what this is what matters, guys. This is what matters. So avatar items and other rewards. Pikachu livery avatar items will be rewarded for trainers who reach rank 3, blah blah. But this is the pose that I like. I like this pose. So this looks cool. And this is the outfit. And I don't need the outfit. They're really pushing sword and shield. Well, why? That's the question. Thank you guys, appreciate it, by the way. So why? Why? Uh, why are they pushing sword and shield so much? Does anybody know that? It's pretty cool, though. All because of Galar Galarir, but it's sword and shield. I don't know why. Okay. Trainers will be able to earn avatar items that pose inspired by the champion of the Galar region, Leon! This is what I always wanted, guys, by the way, just so you guys know. This is what I always wanted, the Leon pose. <laughs> I will get it. Yeah, the Leon pose. That's the Leon pose. This is what I want. I always wanted this pose. This is the Leon... <gasps> guys! Is this animated pose? Is this animated pose? Because if it's animated... Have you guys seen the Leon when he does it? He does it like... I'm gonna have to put in the video, but what it does is... It's literally like... He does like... And like go up like this, and his cape moving. This pose meant to me. Niantic, add cape into the freaking game right now. Because I need the cape. So I can do this pose. I really hope this is a moving pose and he will get into position. I really hope that's what it's gonna do. Anyways, uh, A strength, champion sports glove. Okay, so they diluted the rewards again. So midway through season 9, Leon's iconic pose will be added as a reward for trainers who reach legend rank. At rank 19, you receive an elite charge TM and you will also receive an elite fast TM. Okay. Now, uh, cups, we're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you can look forward to the following cup. Great League Remix, the 20 Pokemon must used by trainers A strength and not in the Great League will not be allowed in the Great League Remix. Okay, so Politoed is gone, all that is... So it's the same as before, right? This, this was this season as well, isn't it, guys? Ultra League Remix, any changes? It's the same. Isn't this the same? Little jungle cup. Pokemon must be at or below 500 CP. I hate this baby cup! I don't want to talk about it. Do you guys like the baby cup? Hello bean cup. Pokemon must be uh, at or below 1500. Only poison, bug, ghost, dark and fairy type. Okay, this is the same exact as last season. Uh, thanks for creativity. But I do like this cup, so I'm okay with that. Special cup player's choice. We are interested to hear which prior special cup you would like to see return this season. Stay tuned. Ah, oh, man, so it's gonna be a poll and we have to vote on the past ones. Okay. New attacks, weather ball. A new low energy cost normal type charge deck. Fainer battles, gyms, and raids. 55 damage. Okay, that's cool. I'm excited. Normal weather ball. Who can learn it? Can Snorlax learn it? Well, it doesn't matter, the Sonax is Body Slam. Attack changes, Weather Ball. Weather Ball is currently a little too efficient as a low energy charged attack. As a result, we are tuning down its damage. Finally! 
Politoed is getting a debuff, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Bye bye, Politoed. Take a hike. Politoed is debuffed. Yeah, boy. So it goes from 60 to 55 damage. Well, that's not that big of a debuff, but still got debuffed. Crunch. We are adding an effort to this move when it's used in trainer battles to tie in with the effects in the core Pokemon RPGs. Yeah, boy. I appreciate this, Niantic. Trainer battles. Na has, a, a Na has a chance of lowering the opposing Pokemon defense crunch. I love that. Thank you, Niantic. Zap Cannon, which is my buddy boys move, as I said before, that is Porygon 2. I'm gonna be using this on Monday with you guys, so make sure to come. And then we are adding an effect of, to this move when it's used in trainer battles to tie in with events in Pokemon RPG. Yep. We hope this will provide Pokemon like Zapdos, Regirock, Magnezone, and Porygon Z, but Porygon 2, really. Uh, a chance to shine. Trainer battles. Guaranteed to lower the opposite. Dude, I didn't realize this when I just read this. It actually guarantees the debuff. It guarantees, dude. So it doesn't even matter if they shield it. That's huge. Honestly, guys, I think that changes everything about the uh, electric Pokemon. And then Scald. We are loving the energy cost on Scald, which is huge because now the uh, EV water type will be useful. Energy cost decreased and now provides a chance of lowering the opposing Pokemon attack. Okay, Feather Dance. This I'm pissed a little bit because we didn't even have a chance to test out the Feather Dance because Pidgeot, and I don't see anything about Pidgeot here, is still banned. Free Let dead the bird, bird fly! Free dead Let bird. the bird fly! Free dead bird! Let the bird fly! Free dead. And we're increasing the energy cost of this charge attack slightly to make it harder to use as, so, uh, as often. It's just so stupid that they did this. Energy cost increased. But maybe it still has a chance to freeze your opponent's uh, game. Maybe maybe that's why. Maybe it costs more, but it still freezes your opponent's game. That, I, I can see that. Megahorn. We are giving Megahorn a slight increase in damage boost. Needle, Needle King and Hero Cross and Escobar high cost charge attack options. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It hits heavier. I take all the updates. Needle King will now be able to learn the charge attack Centum. We're gonna build the Needle King. Polyrath will now be able to learn the charge attack called. We're gonna build the Polyrath. Herocrust will now be able to learn the charge attack Rock Blast. Against fly uh, against freaking flyers and fi uh, fire. This will be epic. Manatric. Manatric will now be able to learn the fast attack Thunderfang. And Manatric will now be able to learn the charge attack Overheat. Huge. Normal from Castform. Castform will now be able to learn charge attack normal attack. Kafka Grigus will now be able to learn the fast attack Shadow Claw. I'm building one right now, or as soon as I exit out of here. Guys, that's it. Let's get back to Go Battle League. What do you guys think? What is your favorite change right now? What is your change right now, ladies and gentlemen? Let me know. Let me know. I want to hear your best changes. These are, you know, we expected, Totetical and I talked about this on the podcast, and we expected not some big changes, because last season were huge move changes, but I think this is bigger. I'm excited, and finally a good pulse. Very excited. I'm gonna hustle this season. How about you?